The last topic I want to cover for mail merge is something that the book just kind of glosses over. They actually include it in one of the case problems and don't explain it very well, so I want to cover it in a quick recording here, and that's an if-then-else field. You can create merge documents that make decisions based on the data that they receive and actually change the form letter to in different ways based on the type of um, data. So I'm going to open my Elephant's main document here. I'm going to modify my template. Our board of directors for the Elephants has decided that Elephants should only be adopted to California. So even though we've got a lot of these people who want to adopt Elephants, some of them in New York and Oklahoma and places shouldn't have Elephants. And the board of directors has decided California only. Everybody else gets a rejection letter. Again, I am linking to the same set of data. So I'm going to say yes, give me the same data. And I'll keep this stuff, the extra stuff. Remember, we put the address in there twice for demonstration purposes. That's not going to affect this. But if we read this, you know, it says, be aware that, be aware, Teresa, that caring for an elephant requires a significant time event. We're also found that elephants don't adapt well to urban areas and they like living in high rise and don't like living in high rise apartments. I think Los Alamos would be wonderful. Well, maybe not. Right now, unfortunately, I don't have the power in this database to designate whether something whether something is rural or urban. That could be something I added to my data. But in this case, I'm just going to use California. Anything in California is good to go because we're probably close enough to some urban place or, or rural place that we can have an elephant. And everybody else we're going to turn down, plus we don't want to pay the shipping costs of elephants. So we've found that elephants don't adapt well and dislike high-rises. I think Los Alamos would be wonderful. Well, maybe not. I don't. I think Los Alamos or the city is only wonderful if it's in California. So what I'm going to do is add a field right here in front of I think. I'm actually going to put a space there ahead of time. And I'm going to go to mailings and I'm still linked. And there are different other kinds of fields that you can add to a mail merge document. You can add ask fields. And it's basically saying, I don't know what data goes in here in advance. Ask the user. Those can be dangerous. Fill-in fields are very similar. We can add the record number, who cares, next record. We saw that in the labels, next record, if, etc. What we want here is an if-then-else. I'll leave the fill-ins for unit 5. If-then-else. Right, and now what we have to designate is the criteria. Just like in Excel, the if statement, just like in Access Queries, we need to designate the criteria. If the state is not equal to California, then add the word don't. The centering here doesn't matter. Add the word don't. Otherwise, we leave it blank. So let's see how that works. I'm going to click on OK. And it inserts a field. Okay, and I am previewing. So uh, Teresa here lives in New Mexico. That's not one of our favorite states. And it says, I don't think Los Alamos is appropriate. Next one, I'll look for, for California here. Notice all of these say don't. There's a California. And notice the space is still there. So that's not quite right because it's making my letter look a little funky. So I'm going to remove the space. And then I'm going to go back into that field, if I can find it. Actually, I think I'm going to remove it as well. So I'm going to turn on, let's see if I turn on my markers, does it show up? Or better yet, let's just go back a record. There's the word don't. I can modify this. Let me show you how. This wasn't part of my plan, but we can modify this. I've shown you this a couple of times. If you press Alt F9, you get to see the fields that are behind. Okay, so this is what is actually stored there. These are the field codes. They're merge fields. It's a date field. We saw that in the first recording. Here's my if statement. If it's not California, add the word don't. Otherwise, empty string. Two quotes right next to each other. I want to add a space after the word don't. So I put it in there. Alt F9. Gets rid of the codes. Puts me back into normal mode. But it didn't seem to change it. So let's navigate. There's the California. That looks pretty good. Then when we come back, there's a space on the don't. Okay, so it's just I was on that record and hadn't updated why it thinks this is an error. I'm not sure. And I don't even have anything. It just went away as soon as I right-clicked it. So there's now a space. All of this looks good. And when I merge and finish my if statement, 
is updated for every page, <clears throat> is updated for every record. So I don't think Los Alamos is good, and we can scroll down because we know the Californias are quite a ways down. And I could sort these by state, make life a little easier. I don't think chair, don't think. And now that's not formatted right either, so I need to tweak that. I need to find a California here just to make sure there's one. I think San Diego would be a wonderful city. All right. So I need a little formatting so I can close my merge file here. Don't save it. I need a little bit of work. That right there, I'm just going to highlight it. Actually, I'm just going to take this word and format painter it. That way it'll get me what I want. Okay. I don't think Fort Watt Collins would be wonderful. Well, that doesn't sound right either. So maybe we should replace the word wonderful. Cut it with another if statement. You can have as many of these as you want to make your letters read right. If the city is California, this time I'm changing it is equal to California, then give me the word wonderful, paste, what do I put in there? I don't think would be, what happened to the word A? I must have took it out. I'll put it back. I think the other word I want in there is would be not, would not be good. Let's do that. Click on OK would be, I don't think Fort Collins would be a good city. So I must have wiped out the word A there somehow. Maybe it wasn't even in there in the first place. I don't think Fort Collins would be a good city to raise an elephant. And now if I go to a different record, you know, the Californias, I think San Diego would be a wonderful city to raise an elephant. So it's done both of those. And now the last thing is for the people who aren't getting an elephant, we shouldn't tell them about the stock up on peanuts and a shovel. So once again, I'm going to put an if statement in here. And then we'll merge them and see how they look. So I'm going to cut this to the clipboard because the sentence is fine. And I'm going to add an if statement. <clears throat> if my city is equal to, or state, excuse me, state is equal to California then put in that sentence. Otherwise, leave it blank. Leave that sentence out altogether. Now, once again, I've lost some of my formatting. So again, I'm going to use my format painter, get the right format and highlight all of this. And now I've got a good format. So now let's merge these and see how those if statements worked. First bunch of them here would say, I don't think Los Alamos would be a good city to raise an elephant. Done. And we could add another sentence to that if statement to say, therefore, we reject your proposal or for adoption. Could add that and get the idea. And then let's get down to the Californias here. Everybody else is getting nothing. But when we get to California, I think San Diego would be a wonderful city in anticipation of your new arrival. Get yourself some peanuts and a shovel. And so those if statements make our merges even more powerful because we can actually have different versions of this form letter based on circum circumstance circumstances, but the circumstances have to be in your database. I mentioned that my database doesn't tell me whether this is an urban city or not, so I had to kind of wing it. Right? But if you have that information in the database, you can say if urban is true, then give them this statement, statement otherwise tell them something else. So those are if statements. Really pretty simple. You just use the wizard, fill in the boxes with your criteria and what you want it to say if it's true and what you want it to say if it's false. If you get it wrong just a little bit, it's pretty easy to modify these. And again, look, that looks like one big sentence, but it's really a small.